Today's video was an idea that actually came from one of you guys in my Instagram DMs and I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually the best idea for a video ever. In that DM, she requested that I do a thrift with me video, but only exclusively shopping in the men's section. And I start in the men's section pretty much every time I thrift, but I've never actually set out to like entirely just only check out the men's section and exclusively shop there. So I think this video is gonna be a really fun idea. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I'm at a Goodwill today, which isn't my favorite place to thrift. It is a Monday when I'm filming this, so I really wanted to film at a Savers because they're having their 50% off sale, but a Savers is either like 20 or 30 minutes either way, and I just really don't feel like driving that far. So I decided to hit up a Goodwill. We are gonna see what this one has to offer. It does have like a decent sized men's section, so hopefully I will have some good luck. And then of course I'll do a haul at the end and show you guys everything I ended up getting if I find anything at all. I wanna say this might be the first thrifting video I've ever done where it's been like a full price day. I usually always go on sale days, so we're gonna see what happens. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go inside and see what this men's section is gonna give to us. Let's freaking go. So, funny story. I actually thought this was a different Goodwill. <laughs> I don't know how I actually got this confused, but I thought that I was at a different <laughs> This one doesn't have as great of a men's section as I had planned, but we're still gonna see what happens nonetheless. Noticing that right here, right away in the pants section, they have two pairs of Levi 501s in a size 28 for $14.99. These would go for like $80 on Etsy. Did I grab this pair just to sell it on Poshmark? Honestly, maybe. Somehow missed this the first time around. Definitely gonna try this on, hello. noticed so far is that it's like 3 p.m. so they've been open all day and I think they've been really really dug through already because usually the pants section is like my gold mine I can find so many awesome things and I'm not really finding much at all maybe I'll have better luck with like flannels or t-shirts or something like that I found a few things to try on some vests so far it's not off to the most promising start although this little guy is a really cool flannel I really like this and it's really soft okay twist my arm. Just found this flannel that looks like legit could be long enough to be a dress on me, so I like the idea of that. tie-dye shirt, which is the trendy right now. I don't know if it's my size. A medium might be a little too small, but I'll throw it in the pile. I've got a decent amount of stuff so far. I'm actually pretty impressed. I mean, I kind of am grabbing things that I maybe normally wouldn't grab, but you never know until you try stuff on, so we're gonna find out. don't think I noticed until I was kind of forced to only shop within the bounds of the men's department is that there's not a lot of variety. It's like all the same collared shirt, the same polo, the same t-shirt, the same long sleeve collared shirt. Pants are all the same. Like it's just, it, to me it seems like it's all the same. But I'm gonna keep digging. We're gonna find good stuff, I promise. Who remembers Nesquik from the 90s? That is wild. 
That is so funny. Guys, I'm slowly but surely making my way through all the t-shirts. I am leaving no t-shirt unturned. Oh my god, this is incredible. Look at this cat shirt. Yes. Yes. Oh god. Actually being totally serious, I was even considering like scrapping this video halfway through. I was like, you know, it's just not going that well. I'm not really finding a lot of stuff. I definitely, if I could do this video over again, would go to a different Goodwill. I thought that this GoPro was a different one. I know that that's stupid, but there are so many in my area and I've been to so many that I think I just got confused. But I decided when I was halfway through that thought that I was like, no, I'm absolutely still gonna continue making this video because this is the reality of thrifting. Sometimes you just don't find stuff. Sometimes you do. It is literally a gamble. There's never the same thing. What is going on? It's always different every time you come and you never know what you're gonna get. me. I just totally realized that there's one place I haven't gone yet and that is the shoes. You never know. There was a girl FaceTiming her boyfriend looking at shoes who pushed me out of the way. There's a car alarm going on outside. <laughs> this Goodwill sucks. Okay, let's go try some stuff on. issue that I have with men's jeans, I'm just constantly dealing with. These are not gonna work. Excuse me, ma'am. Did what? you just say you like anal? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> they don't know. I love you. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> Stuff. I had to get out of there. I'm so sorry. It was apparently being mocked because someone had peed on the floor in there. It's time to buy these and go to the car. I have so much to say and I want to get out of here so bad that I'm gonna go home and then show you guys this haul in the parking lot because that's how much I want to get out of here. Also, they put my clothes in a trash bag. Okay, we'll talk about it when we get home. Okay, so we're back in a better area and wow, what um just happened? At the end there, things got a little weird. I also didn't mention, because I was filming and these people were right next to me, but the guy got into the fitting room because he climbed underneath, like he slid on the floor underneath it to get in. Also my battery lights flashing, things are happening, but I will quickly show you everything I got. I did get this cat shirt, it's everything. It was $2.99, I'm so, so excited about this, the most excited. I did end up getting this shirt. I know it's in another language, but I don't know what it means. Hopefully it's nothing bad. And this was $2.99 as well. I did pick up these Levi's. I will be posting them on my Poshmark, obviously for a little bit of a profit, so don't be mad, but it's like, you know, it's part of the, part of the gig, curating it. Hopefully one of you guys that are a size 28 and Levi's will really enjoy these. I picked up this kind of like corduroy coat over sweater thingy and this was $6.99 and the sleeves aren't very long but I think if I wear it with the right things it'll be really really cute so love that one. I did end up getting this vest because I wasn't like sure how I felt about it. I was like okay wait is this cute or is this really ugly? I don't know. But I got it anyways. It was $4.99. It's a size large and it's missing like a button over here so I'm gonna have to do something with that. But I think again with the right thing this will be cute. I picked up this sweater without even trying it on because I just wanted to get out of there so bad I didn't care. It was $4.99 and it's this like chenille type of material and I thought this would be really cute tucked into mom jeans. And last but not least I got this like giant flannel that's almost like a dress. It's a size XL. It's by the brand Redhead Brand Company. I've never heard of it. It and it was $6.99. So all in all, a very interesting thrifting experience, but a very real one nonetheless. This happens more often than not, like things turn out kind of strange sometimes and that's totally fine. I successfully thrifted the men's section. It was really fun, I enjoyed it. I think I am definitely going to be trying this again. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below. I wanna try this maybe at like a Savers, at like a better area. Also, it was kind of my bad because I went to this place when it was three o'clock in the afternoon and they had been open all day. So like if you go right when they open, you're obviously gonna have like 
like way better stuff that hasn't been picked through. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any other ideas of things you wanna see me thrift, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for going on this wild journey with me. I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye. Oi.